This is a tutorial on how to use your Yoast SEO for WordPress. I'm going to do this page here that focuses on the gut and psychology syndrome. However, I found out that my keyword here is actually GAPS and GAPS diet. So I need to go in to edit my page or post and we're going to focus on this box here, WordPress but SEO by Yoast. The first thing I need to do is go in and enter the keyword that I want this page to be found under. It'll also give me suggestions of other keywords that I might be interested in. For now, this main page, I'm just going to use the GAPS diet. Once I've got my keyword filled out, WordPress SEO let me know what is missing. I have it once in my content but it's not in my article heading, page title, URL, or in my meta description. This here shows you where and how your, your page is going to show up in, in a search engine result. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that GAPS Diet, my keyword, is in my article heading. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the page and enter it here. Gut Psychology Syndrome, GAPS diet. Once I've done that and I come down, I now see that it's in the article heading and the page title. However, I can see here that my page title, which is based on my entry at the top, is kind of long for search engines to read. You can see how it gets cut off. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to enter a page title that is more geared towards my SEO or search engine optimization. Oops, that copied the wrong thing. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to enter GAPS Diet. And then I also want to be found under Coastal Acupuncture Ventura California. That is the business name that I want to be found under and that I'm including on all of my page titles. So now that I have GAPS Diet written in my SEO title, I can see that it's in my page title, in my content, and it's still missing in my URL. So I'm going to scroll up to the page URL, which is my permalink, and I'm going to edit this. It's important to remember no capitalization or funny characters in the page URL. So once it's there and I click OK, sometimes it takes a minute to show up for the SEO to register that I've changed that. So while we're waiting for that to show up, I'm also going to come in here and enter a metadata description. This description is what shows up under the title and the URL of the of the search engine result. So I'm going to paste my new description there and now I can see that it is also mentioned GAPS diet in twice in my description. And I can see here in the bold where my keyword is highlighted throughout all. So I would probably want to mention it a little bit more in my content more than once for sure. I'll come up here and put it in a page up in the heading. And now I can see that it's in my content twice once this refreshes. So as you continue to go in and put it through your headings and your content, then you fill out your WordPress SEO by Yoast and you will get a nice search engine result when you search. From here, I hit update to save all of my changes. And this is what I will do to each and every page and post that I publish on my website to make sure that I get good organic search engine rankings. 